hello in this tutorial we are going to look about how to draw arc in autocad 2020 so let's get started arc command is in draw panel under home tab you can see or simply you can just use a shortcut of a to draw arc i will just go here and i will click on this drop down arrow as you can see this the arc option and i will click on this drop down arrow and here you can see some of the options to draw arc some 11 options are here you can see three point star center end. so we will look about all of these option one by one and first one here is three points so i will click here to activate this one as name suggests we have to just give three points here first point this point and i can just give second point anywhere here okay for example i want to give here a second point and then third point so this is simply three point option here okay now again I will go here and I will click on this drop down arrow and the next option here is start center and end. So in this case we have to just give start point, center point and end point. So I will click here to activate this one and in this case I will give this point as start point then I will give this mid point and then this end point okay. So this is what start center and end option. So let me just delete both of these from here and I want to erase this one right click and I will go in erase option. Now again I will go here and let's see another method. So this is start center and angle. So it's mean that we have to just give start point, center point and including angle as well. So I will click here and start point, center point and then I will just give angle here okay so let me just give here angle of 45 degree and I will hit enter now this is 45 degree arc and the included angle here is 45 degree let me check whether it is correct or not so simply I will just go here and I will take as line command from here and I will start it from here over midpoint now let me check this angle here the included angle will be 45 degree so in this case i will go here in annotation panel and from here i will just select this angular so we will just learn about these in very details but right now i want to just give how to just mirror this one i want to just check the included angle so i will select this one and select this one as well and you can see here included angle is 45 degree so this is how you can just measure it or there is one another method to just check the angle of the arc simply i will click here and i want to check the angle here now you can see this 45 degree angle now let me just escape this one i want to delete this arc again and again i will go here in this arc option and the next option here is star center and length so in this case we have to just give start point center point and length of the chord as well so i will just uh, click here to activate this one start point and then center point and, and then you can just give the length as this uh, dot line is showing the chord length here simply you can click anywhere here to give the length or you can just give uh, the value here as well for example i want to just uh, give here a value of 300 so i will hit enter now this is the 300 length arc so let me check this one i will go here in length option and i will give this point as first point and this as second point and this is the length of 300 okay unit so again if you want to check you will go here in dimension and you can check somewhere here okay i will just give this point as first point and this as second point so this is 300 unit of arc okay okay let me delete this one again again i will go here and the next option is start end and angle so here we have to just give angle as well okay with the start point and end point so start point end point as this point okay and we will just give angle let me just give here a angle of 90 degree so i will just give 90 degree angle and this is 90 degree angle arc so oh, let me check this one whether it is 90 degree or not so in this case i will just uh, take a line command and a first point and uh, this center point of arc and this point now the included angle will be 90 degree so i will go here in this option angular and this one and this one i will check and you can see here it is 90 degree 
again let me just escape this one from here and I will go again here in uh, this arc option so the next option here is start and end direction so in this case we have to just give the direction for example start and and you can just uh, give direction inward or outward any of the direction you can give so simply I need it inward so I will just give this direction so this was start and end direction method let me just delete this one again I will go here and I will just uh, choose this one next option that is start and end you can give radius as well so I will just give start this end and now we have to just uh, uh, mention here a radius so I want to give here 250 unit of radius I will hit enter now let me check whether it is correct or not so in this case I will go here in dimension and I want to check this radius and you can see here 250 unit of radius and 500 millimeter of dia here again I will just delete this one and simply go here and let's see another method that is center start and end now you will just start from center start and then end so center point as this point and start point you can give this point as well as this point it will change the direction as right now I need this point as a start point and this point as a end point now you can see here it is going to uh, just created outward okay in this direction but if I will just give this uh, this point as a start point so it will just create it in this direction okay so simply you can just change the direction from control key as well if I want this arc inward simply I will just hold this control key from here and the direction will be changed okay and I will click here so you can just uh, press and hold control key if you change the direction of the arc simply I will just delete this one from here now let's see next method I will just go here I will click on this drop down and the next option here is center start and angle so in this case we have to just give angle so center then start and an angle so I will just give center point start point as this point and now we have to just uh, give a angle so right now I want to just give 90 degree of angle so I will just uh, enter 90 value and I will hit enter now the included angle will be 90 degree as we can check from here in this angular option and I will just uh, give these two and you can see it is 90 degree okay so this is how we can center start and angle option can use here I will just delete this one again and let me check next method and the next method is center start and length so in this case we will just give length center start and we have to just give a chord length here so right now I need for example 300 degree okay 300 unit of length so the length from this point to this point will be 300 okay so this is how you can just use these options and let's see the last option and the last option here is continuous so in this case we have to just create a arc one arc here and it will be continue from here so let's see how to do this I will click on this three point and I want to just create a arc here okay somewhere here and again I will go here in continuous option and when I will just click on this one so I will click on this one you can see it is starting right from here when I end the previous arc so I can just give this point now again I will go here in continuous option and I will click here now again it is starting from this point so this is what continue option is all about so these were some options regarding drawing arcs so I hope you understand all of these options I'll see you in the next